Hello there everyone who are watching this video. My name is Jasbir Kaur. I'm working in Shrivashisht Vidyalaya. I hope you all are doing well these days, enjoying a lot with family, especially my fifth standard students. But one more thing which you have to do is studies. So today we are going to learn about international number system, which is our topic in our first chapter, which is place value. So in this chapter, we are going to learn how we can put commas according to the international number system and how we can write the given number in words up after separating the number. So first of all, we'll start with the place value chart, international place value chart. So over here, you can see in first row, one period, then thousands period and then millions period. Over here, you can see that each period is having ones, tens, and hundreds place. Thousand is also having ones, tens, and hundreds place. Million is again having ones, tens, and hundreds place. So you have to be very clear with this concept that in international number system, each period is having ones, tens, and hundreds place value in its period. So now we'll learn how we can put commas in international number system one thing which you have to be in, for which you have to be very clear that is you have to start putting commas from the right hand side this is our right hand side this is our left hand side so how you have to put commas you have to start counting the numbers like one two three comma then one two three done this number is having five digits over here you have to count from the left uh, sorry right hand side one two three comma then two numbers are only left this number is having nine digits over here so this number is divided into three periods this is one period then thousands period and millions period so one two three comma you can see over here then before three numbers there is a comma and three numbers are there in millions period over here we are having eight digits over here before three numbers there is a comma again before three numbers there is a comma and two numbers are there on the left hand side so what you have to do you have to start putting commas from the left hand uh, sorry right hand side and you have to put commas for three three numbers let's see one example over here this example is having nine digits over here and is divided into three groups right this is of millions period then thousands period and this is of ones period as i told you that each period is having ones tens and hundreds place value so this seven is in ones place value nine tens eight in hundreds four in ones in thousands period five in tens and six in hundreds one in ones three in tens and two in hundreds place value in millions period now, now we'll see how we can write the given number in words if it is already been separated you can see this number is been separated so how you will read this number as it is divided into three periods over here so first period is of millions so how you will read this number 231 how you will read 231 after 231 there are six digits that means million how many zeros are there in million there are six zeros in million so this is of millions period so 231 million 654,897 right 231 million 654,897 I hope you would have understood how you can separate the number and how you can write in words let's see a few more examples over here this number is of nine digits right so before three numbers before three numbers we have kept the comma 
this number is having six digit the four three number three numbers and three numbers done then over here you can see this number is having only four digits so you have to be very clear that always you have to put commas before three numbers if one number is left then leave as it is so this number is having two periods over here this is of thousands period and this is of one period so 1235 over here again this number is divided into two periods this is thousands period this is one period right so 16523 again this number is having three periods right as this number was also having three periods this number is also having three periods so three million how many periods are there over here two commas are there that means there are three periods so three million eight hundred seventy four thousand five hundred sixty three right now let's see another method over here what you have to do is if the number is of um, nine digit or eight digit you have to draw three circles right these circles are there this is of ones period this circle is of thousands period and this circle is of millions period what you have to do you have to just write this number in millions period this three numbers in thousands period and these three numbers in ones period now we'll write this number in words let's see how we can write so how you will write this number 1 million right 1 million because this is in million period 1 million 200 because you read this number as 256389 again we'll see this number over here which is having nine digits over here so three numbers in million period three in thousands and three in one period so five hundred sixty one million four hundred thirty six thousand three hundred fifty eight i hope you all are very clear with the concept that you have to start putting commas from the right hand side and you have to put commas before three three numbers let's see a few more examples over here these are the numbers given over here and these numbers are divided into periods over here this number is having nine digit and is divided into three periods over here one period thousand period and which period we are having over here millions period right so you have to separate the given number like from the right hand side before three numbers before three numbers like that and then you have to write in words so let's see again over here how you can write this number so 128 million because this is million period 28 million 128 million 963,000 150 right we'll come to another example over here this number is having five digits and is divided into two periods 12 is in thousands period so how you will read this number 12356 right then another example over here is having six digit and is divided into two periods thousand and ones so you will read this number as 466,553. This is very easy for you. 4,562. Again, we'll come to another example over here. Is having 7 digits over here and is divided into 3 periods. Million, thousand and ones. So, 1 million. 254,635. Again, we'll come to another example over here. Is having 8 digits over here. So, millions period, 
thousand spirit and one spirit. Eighty nine million four hundred sixty one thousand three hundred twenty five. This one is very easy for you. This is divided into thousand spirit and one spirit. Five thousand six hundred forty eight. I hope you are very clear with the concept that how you have to start putting commas from the right hand side before three three numbers and how you have to write these numbers in words. One thing you have to you have to be very clear is each period is having ones tens and hundreds place value in each period, right? And is divided into three three groups. You have to start putting commas from the right hand side. One two three comma like that. Before three three numbers, you have to put commas. If two numbers are left, that's it, right? Over here, you can see that you have counted one two three. Only one number is one number is left, so that's it. You have to put commas before three three numbers always. So I hope you are very clear with the concept that how you have to put commas. in the given number and how you have to write the number in words according to the international number system practice a lot and make it very clear with this concept that's it for today i hope you would have understood thanks a lot